Welcome back students to our fourth video on climate. Today we will study India's climate in detail with geographical explanations. India's climate is monsoon type. The word monsoon is derived from an Arabic word mosim meaning season. The sun's rays are perpendicular up to the Tropic of Cancer which passes through the middle of the country. As a result, average temperature are higher throughout the year. Also, temperature increases towards the south because the southern part lies close to the equator. Now, the Tropic of Cancer, which is 23 and a half degree north latitude, divides India into two equal parts, the northern temperate zone and the southern tropical zone. In winters, the temperatures drop to minus 40 degrees Celsius in Jammu and Kashmir and parts of mountainous regions of Himalayas. The diversity in climatic conditions of India are mainly due to the latitudinal location and the altitude of the place. Now the factors that affect the climate of India are the latitude. So if you go to see the southern part has equable climate which means it's neither very hot nor very cold because it is close to the equator. The northern part which is far away from the equator is hot in summer and cold in winter. The second factor which affects the climate of India is altitude that is height above the sea level. Now the Himalayas and places like Uti, Kodai Canal in the Western Ghats have very low temperatures because we know that the temperature decreases with increase in height above sea level. The third factor which affects the climate of India are the Himalayas. They prevent the cold winds of Central Asia from entering India. They protect India from experiencing very cold winters. The Himalayas also prevent the rain bearing monsoon winds from leaving the country, thus causing sufficient rainfall. The fourth factor which affects the climate of India okay, is distance from the sea. Places in the interior have extreme climate as they are far away from the sea. Thus, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, etc. have very hot summers and cold, dry winters. However, places nearer the coast such as Mumbai and Chennai have moderate summers and winters. The Indian Ocean and the Himalayan ranges exert a great influence on the climate of India and the origin of monsoons. Very cold winds blowing from the north. So very cold winds blowing from the north are obstructed by the Himalayas. Similarly, the southwest monsoon winds retreat from the Shivalik and the Himachal ranges of the Himalayas. Now you we have to keep in mind that in summer land gets heated faster and cooled faster whereas on the contrary water gets heated slowly and cooled slowly. So in summer because the land gets heated faster there is a low pressure area created on mainland India and the high pressure that is created in the Indian Ocean, the winds start blowing from the high pressure zone to the low pressure zone. So, because of high temperatures in summers, low pressure areas develop in Punjab, 
plains and the thar desert of rajasthan that is the north and the northwestern part of india this attracts winds coming from the high pressure region in the indian ocean which start blowing towards the mainland of india these moisture laden winds bring rainfall to india because of the obstruction caused by the eastern and the western ghats so eastern and western ghats it rains more in the coastal areas the rainfall reduces in the leeward side of the hill so we've already studied the orographic type of rainfall so this is the windward side and the coastal area is on the windward side of the sayadri mountains so it experiences more rains so when the winds cross the sayadri mountains they lose moisture and hence this particular region experiences less rainfall or scanty rainfall so this particular region is called the leeward side these winds they blow parallel to the aravalli so this is these are the aravalli ranges so the winds blow parallel to the aravalli ranges as a result rainfall is low in parts of gujarat and rajasthan later these winds move towards the himalayas their moisture carrying capacity increases and thus orographic type of rainfall occurs in this part of region because of the himalayas they act as an obstruction now we need to keep in mind in winter land gets cooled faster okay and water gets cooled slowly so low pressure zone is created on the indian ocean whereas there is a high pressure area that is created on the in the indian subcontinent so winds blow from the high pressure area that is from the indian subcontinent to the indian ocean now since these winds move from land mass to the sea they are dry in nature now these winds while moving while moving to the indian ocean they pass through the bay of bengal so since they pass through the bay of bengal their moisture increases okay and then they give rains to some parts of peninsular india so especially they give rains to tamil nadu and andhra pradesh these two states they experience rains in winter okay so this we need to keep in mind so the southwest monsoon winds return from the himalayan ranges and their retreating journey starts okay that is them moving now while moving while blowing from the northeast towards the indian ocean while blowing from the northeast towards the indian ocean these winds bring rainfall again to some parts of the peninsula that is tamil nadu and andhra pradesh this is the retreating monsoon season in india now this particular diagram shows this is the northeast monsoon winds they show the retreating monsoon okay so this is how the winds blow in winter season okay so in general the climate of india is hot throughout the year as the tropic of cancer passes through the middle of india india is in the tropical region now what do we and what do we mean by tropical region now it means that the temperatures are higher than those in the temperate latitudes because we know that the tropic of cancer passes through the middle of india and that's the reason india is divided into two zones the temperate zone and the tropical zone but in spite of this india is called the tropical region we already know that temperate since the upper part okay this is called the temperate zone so the climate has to be more cool here but it's not so it is hot now why it is hot this happens because of the himalayas they do not allow the cold winds of asia to reach the temperate northern parts of india and do not allow the monsoon winds from going out of india that's the reason india is called a tropical region india faces natural disasters like erratic rainfall droughts cyclones floods 
etc. frequently. According to the Indian Meteorological Department, India experiences four seasons. Okay, the hot weather season, which is the summer season, which, uh, which is from March to May. The second season is the season of rainfall, which is the monsoon season or the southwestern monsoon season. Okay, it occurs from June to September. The third season is retreating monsoon season, which takes place from October to November. And the fourth season is the cold weather season or we call it as winter season from December to February. With this children, we have come to an end of our today's session. Thank you. Stay home and stay safe.